Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. Ever since the start of the year, Vivo has been surprising us with one innovation after the other. There was the under-display fingerprint sensor, time-of-flight camera, and of course, who can forget the pop-up camera on the Vivo NEXS. This week in Shanghai, China, they just launched a smartphone that will surely catch your eye, because this time, it has two displays. This is our Vivo NEX Dual Display Edition, hands-on. If you recall, back in June, we reviewed the Vivo NEX S at the World Cup in Moscow. It was the first of its kind, with a nearly bezel-less display, in display fingerprint sensor, and a pop-up camera. While we did appreciate this approach, we also found ourselves asking the question, do we really need to revert back to mechanical pop-up mechanisms in order to be able to get that all-display experience? This time, Vivo's answer is two displays, one on the front, and another on its back. Now, I know that two displays might sound excessive, but it does solve the need for pop-up cameras and 2018's most hated feature, the notch. Gone also is the original NEXS pop-up camera. With another display at the back, you only need one set of cameras. This one over here doubles as a selfie camera. This means all your photos will look equally as good, whether that's a landscape, portrait, or a selfie. Some smartphones, especially those made specifically for taking selfies, come with some sort of flash, either a front-facing flash or a fill light. On the NEX Dual Display Edition, by tapping here, you get a ring light. You know how beauty vloggers get their eyes to kind of shine in photos, that's achieved using a ring light, and Vivo says you can achieve the same effect with what they call selfie soft light. Time of flight 3D sensing technology, which Vivo first introduced at Mobile World Congress Shanghai in June, enables 3D modeling for enhanced face and lock and even personalized beautification. Because Vivo has always been known as the selfie smartphone king, even if there's no selfie camera anymore, they have given you a lot of selfie beautification options in case you want it. There are modes like mirror mode, which allows you to see yourself on the back display, even while being photographed by someone else, and pose director, which can show you pose references that you can copy. This way, even if you're not taking the shot, finding your best angle is going to be easier than ever before. Oh, and that circular bump here is called the lunar ring. Apart from serving as a ring light when taking selfies, you can set it to glow when you get notifications or even pulse when playing music. Another possible practical feature of this dual display phone are the things that you can do while gaming. When playing certain games, for example, you actually get extra controls on the rear display. Certain games are just much better when you have a separate controller, but an extra display is the closest that you can get to that without carrying another accessory. Now, we had very little time with the device, so we can't wait to get our hands on an actual review unit to tell you what that experience really is like. And while we're on the subject of gaming, it's worth mentioning that the any NEX Dual Display Edition has top-of-the-line specs and is also one of the first smartphones to come with 10 gigabytes of memory. You might recall that on the NEX S you only had one biometric option, that was the under-display fingerprint sensor. On the Dual Display Edition, you get two fast and secure options. Built into the main display is an in-screen fingerprint scanner, a technology pioneered by Vivo. On the rear display, you can unlock the phone using the TOF 3D camera. In case you're wondering, you can switch between the two displays in a multitude of ways. The easiest is by pressing the two buttons on both sides of the phone simultaneously. Speaking of buttons, button and port placements are like this. Volume rocker and power buttons on the right. A dedicated button for Vivo's virtual assistant Jovi is on the left. Dual nano SIM card tray, USB-C port, and speaker grills on the bottom. And yes, folks, the headphone jack lives to fight another day. You also get an earpiece on both sides of the phone tucked over here. And that's because even if the rear display is only secondary, it works just like the main display, so you can answer phone calls from any side of the phone that you want. Now, one question we get a lot when it comes to unconventional phones is, will it work with a case? The dual display edition comes bundled with a bumper that matches the phone's color, so your phone stays protected from accidental drops. And that was our Vivo NEX dual display edition hands-on. 
that was a mouthful. If you'd like to see a full review, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be posting it as soon as we get our hands on an actual international unit. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post that video. Follow us on social media for all the fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.